universe, Siri. What? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! Back with Siri. 
I know. Agarez, Tierge, Agarez. Now, Geralt. I'm fine. Now go and give Avalok my heartfelt regards. Eradicated. Avalok gave me a choice. I made the decision. I must stop it. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it.
Yeah, I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits. You were supposed to be somewhere? I was. Fine. Where will you meet? Near the Huntsman's Cottage. Old man always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a man. A man of peace. Good nature, like himself. Would have never crossed his mind to disown me if it wasn't for that hag I call my sister. What's her name again? Count Julian Alfonso de Wet? Viscount Julian Alfred Pancrat Stilettenhove. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch, you'll wipe that doubting leer off your face when we go visit my estates. <laughs> you just invent this count bit. Quite the imagination for one who's sober. Geralt will vouch for me. Tell him, I've always said I'm a count. True, you have always said so. <laughs> just nobody's bothered to verify it. <laughs> What's with this count business all of a sudden? Well... When we finally leave this God's forsaken dung hole, I plan to reclaim my heritage, the titles and estates that are rightfully mine. Got plans for all these lands and titles? I'll take possession of them. Of course, there's also the issue of progeny. Is that so? When you finally found a lassie worthy of the great dandelion? My dear friend and companion, why, my heart belongs to the one and only Priscilla. Known also as Kalanetta. Your heart, mate, true. But the rest of your anatomy? I resent the insinuation, and hasten to remind you that you are talking to a Count. No need for the Count to get riled. Rather, you told us how your beloved is. Recovered, mostly. Even started singing again. Her voice is a little lower pitched, gravelly. Actually, sounds a little better. Thanks for helping back then, Geralt meant a lot. Really. What are friends for? Give her my best. Don't worry, I will. Give her a kiss even. A bit from you, mostly from me. I'm going rabbit hunting. Dandelion? Glad to have some rabbit stew. But freezing my ass off to amass the ingredients did not sign up for that. I'll gather the herbs. Spices. No stew is complete without some sun-drenched thyme and the aroma of rosemary. Hi, <laughs> the fields are covered with rosemary blooming like well just before Yule, aren't they? That's why I'll be gathering my herbs from the kitchen. Uh, so long. Yes? Oh, gotten cold. Come now. <laughs> hey! Bloody hell! Ow! Oh! Plowing ear pits! Help me! Greetings. <laughs> to think the nag would know me after all these years. They're smart, grow attached, a bit like people. Saw officers weep for their fallen mounts, though wailing women and crying babes didn't move them one bit. Been away long? A year. Not quite. But it feels like more, let me tell you. They force you to join? No, I was eager to fight. Thought I'd bring home more than just the scars on my back. Did see a chunk of the world, though. Some mammoth battles, a few famous generals from afar, and lots of horses. Didn't see the Emperor take Novigrad, but I don't regret it. Beautiful city. But I wonder what awaits me back home. Which side do you fight for? Like most, my own. Fought to stay alive. Dying's all the same. Dirt and shite, be it under the Redanian Eagle or the Imperial Sun. No glory in it. Glad to see the horse is in good hands. The best. His owners. Do you miss me, Golden, huh? Do you miss me? I'd say he did. Bolted off soon as he sensed you toppled anyone in his way. Um, do you mark anyone calling after him? Plowing armpits or some such? 
But one man here curses so odd, my neighbour, Mirko. Gave him Goulden to care for when I left. Ought to go see him, must be worried. Here, token of my appreciation for running after Goulden to see you is all right. Trees again. Out in a hunt, Master Witcher. Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round, visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if... As you will. You're always welcome. Freak. That explains why God in the <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. Get up. Not up to hunting rabbits anymore. Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. Are you actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A royal griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morin. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come! We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow at sunup, then? Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Hmm. <clears throat> Almost there. Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! What? 
tear faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry, wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Hmm. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. Ice shouldn't be too thick here. Uh huh. How exactly do you plan to catch anything? You'll see. I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No, we'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. Show you something. An old witcher's trick for tough winters. Not terribly subtle, but effective. Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. Go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Belagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Huh. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. <laughs> you never gave me piggyback rides at Cairn Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> huh? Had to wait till now to remind me? You've put on some weight since Cairn Morhen. Siri. We should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage, yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. That pendulum was a nightmare. How could I forget? Those months at Cairn Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then.
Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long. Argued, really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters around forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. You make this choice on your own? If you mean to suggest Yennefer had anything to do with this, then the answer is no. Great. She even know? No. And I'd prefer she not get involved this time. I'll let you tell her that. You could have told me, warned me. I wanted to, but I didn't know how. I've been happy here. I was afraid I'd ruin it. I wanted to make every minute count. So, back at the nest, I was about this. I didn't pry, didn't want to force you to tell me. Thought we had time, a lot more time. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. Traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Yeah, we do. You could come with me. No, Siri. That's not me. You know that. I know, but I thought... You've made your decision, and I made mine long ago. War's over. I'll have plenty of work chasing monsters round forgotten villages. When do you leave? Now. So this is... The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. 
through Nilfgaard's victory, the Marians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Emir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities, from her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. Mm -hmm.